Hello everyone. So today we will learn what is the variables in Java. So think about that. There are lots of data present in in our today's life. Like if you are using a phone, inside the phone there is lot of data. If you are writing something in your notebook, that is also called data. Data means all the raw fact or the all the things called the data. That's thing like that. Thing like that. If I ask you, what is your name? So what did you tell? I tell that my name is Devo Jyoti Singh. Okay. But what is the Devo Jyoti Singh here? In computer, treated Devo Jyoti Singh as a string. But if I ask you, what is your age? Then I will tell you that my age is 22 years old. That means 22. What is the 22 here? 22 is the data and it is which type of data it is integer type of data and what is the integer and what is the string integer and string all are called data type if you want to declare a data then you should use sorry declare a variable if you want to declare a variable then you should use you must be used not should you must be used data type because without data type you cannot it is like any type of value inside that variable and you cannot change this okay so how to write the write the data type if you want to store a number type variable okay this is the this is the number 25 26 27 then you are going to use integer int means integer so you will write int age is equal to 27 here age is which type of data type it is an integer type of data type and if i write string string str is equal to pep coding if i will write this that means this is a string type variable this is a string type variable and the data type of the str is string and pep, pep coding what is the data we can store in this we can store a string data pep coding here is a string and if we write this 10.56 or 10.246 that is the which type of data type? that is the float or you can say double this is float or double type data types okay now code this and check what i am trying to say so first we are going to create a integer type variable not we i that i put the value 10 next i put the value int b is equal to 15 then int a plus b is equal to a plus b sorry sorry int c is equal to a plus b now system dot out dot println the value c if i hit the run button see what will get so we get in the output screen 25 that is right now check what is happening in the code in this code so for that cut the code from here and go to the board okay now we are in the board let's see how it will execute in the computer memory so i draw a computer memory here and first line c in the first line c in the first line you declare a is equal to 10 that means a take a place in the memory whose value is 10 next line b is equal to 10 that means b creates takes a place in the memory whose value is 15 and at the next line we will declare value as c so c also takes a place in a memory whose value is a plus b that means the c's value is depend upon b and a's value okay now see what we will get in the output screen one by one first line see that a is equal to b b is equal to b and c is equal to a plus b now when we are going to printing out that system dot out dot print l and c that means we are going to printing the c so in the output screen what we will get we will get the output as c not c what is stored in the value c the store in the value is a plus b what is the value of a plus b a is 15 and then plus then b is 10 so 15 plus 10 that is 25 so what we will get in the output screen instead of only getting the value c um, what we will get we get output as 25 
So, clear you can see. Here also we are getting the output as 25. So, now, if we do the same type of thing that int p c naught d is equal to a multiplication, sorry, a b. What you know in the mathematics that d is equal to a in a b, that means a multiplication into b. But computer does not understand that what is the a b meanings. You have to initialize that a into b, that means what I am trying to see a multiplication of b that means you have to say d is equal to a multiplication of b if you does not do that you see computer throw a error c so i copy it once again paste it here and now change the value c to d now see what do you get in the output it will throw a error that here you can see here you can see cannot find the symbol that means it cannot find what is the a b is here you have to clear that what is a b is basically here that means a multiplication of b now if i hit the run button you will get the multiplication of 2 that is 150 okay now see one more thing here a is 15 and b is 10 now if I write a plus b, what we will get? Now we write a minus b, what we will get? Now write a divided by b, what we will get? Now if we write b divided by a, what we will get? If I write a module of b, what we will get? If I write, okay, if I write this way, see. If a is equal to 15, b is equal to 10, and if I write a plus b, what we will get? If I write a minus b, what we will get? If I write a multiplication b, what we will get? If I write a divided by b, what we will get? If I write b divided by a, what we will get? If I write b modulo of a, what we will get? If I write a modulo of b, then what we will get? See, first line. When you write a plus b, that means 15 plus 10, we get 25 as answer. If I write a minus b, we get 15 minus 10, that is 5. We get 5 as answer. A multiplication of b, we get 150 as answer. But see here, if we divide 15 by 10, then what we will get in the output? We get in the output that is 1. And if I do b divided by a, then what we will get? We will get 0. But why it is happening? If I divide 5 by 10, then we are get, we should get 1.5, 1.5. Or uh, if I if I round it, then we will get 2. But here we are getting the value 5. What is happening? Actually, we are painting here the, sorry, oh, here is the, a divided by now, it will be 5, 5. We are printing here the, here is the 5. Okay, okay, okay. So, what computer will print out? Computer will print out the quotient value. If we do a divided by b, then computer will print out the quotient value. What is in the quotient? It will print out this. And b divided by, we are, we are getting b divided by a is equal to 0. That is because, here you can see, b is 10 and a is 15 we cannot divide it that's why we divide it with 0 and then we get that again 10 what will we get in the quotient we get in the quotient the value of 0 that's why we are printing value 0 let's see what we will get if we do b modulo a if we do b modulo a operator then what we will get let's clear it b modulo a a is 15 b is 10 now see if we do b modulo 10 modulo 15 then what we will get we will get in the output 10 why it because because if we divide 10 by 15, then 15 zeros are 0. Then in the remainder, what is the store we get in the output? So next line, if I do a modulo b, then what we will get? That is 15 modulo 10. So if I didn't check, if I do 10 ones are 10 and this 5. So remainder is 5, so we get the remainder 5. But if we do 15 divided by 10, then what we will get in the output? We get in the output that is 1. But if we put here a module operator, it's called the module operator. If we put here a module operator, then what we will get? We will get the value 5. So hope this thing is clear to you. Now do it in the screen and check what is happening. What is going to happen? So let's clear all this. Now put int 
इंट सी इजिकल टू बी डिवाइडेड बाई ए एंड इंट डी इजिकल टू बी मॉड्यूल ऑफ ए लेट सी वॉट विल गेट इन द आउटपुट सिस्टम डॉट आउट डॉट प्रिंट एल एन सो वॉट विल गेट वैल्यू ऑफ सी एंड पुट हेयर ए कॉमा वैल्यू ऑफ डी नाउ सी वॉट विल गेट इन द आउटपुट यू कैन सी हेयर इज द वन एंड फाइव सो दिस थिंग इज क्लियर टू यू ऑल ऑफ यू नो हाउ वट इज दिस ओके